But I love this next story. It's about dogs and they give us unconditional love and some are trained to do even more. And this week's Positively the Heartland puppies and what their lives might entail three years from now. Here's 3 News Now anchor Mary Nelson. We arrived during nap time. Nine puppies nestled on a heating pad. There's three different kinds of goldens. There's, um, there's light goldens, um, golden, and dark golden. And, and they go the whole spectrum in between. Breeder Christy Brandt explained the British type is known for this lighter fur, just like mom, Dublin. She's an amazing mom. Up from their nap, Dublin's littles can't get to her fast enough. Their eyes are open, but they're they can't see very far, so they rely mostly on touch and smell right now. The puppies, not quite four weeks old, are all spoken for. One is going to a lady that has multiple sclerosis, and she lives in upstate New York. Christy will fly with the puppy for that delivery. And then the one that's going to Uplifting Paws, a little girl that will go to be trained to be a dog, hopefully just as cool as Indy. Indy is Dublin's half-sister. <laughs> An example of the difference the puppies will make someday. Indy is a full-time therapy dog at Children's Respite Care Center in Omaha. Our main goal is just to be here and help help every kid learn and reach their potential. Carrie Kolar is Indy's owner and the director of special education. Some of our kids will um, work for her, so you know by making good choices or being kind to others, they can earn time with Indy, so they might come read her a book. A lot of times they like to brush her or um, teach her a trick. Carrie went through Uplifting Paws in Lincoln, which provides highly trained service dogs to people with disabilities. Indy's been doing this now for six months. Come bring a book over, London. CRCC serves people six weeks to 21 years old, including those with high complex medical needs. Their temperaments are just ideal for for any type of therapy, whether it's a service dog or an emotional support dog or an institution dog. They love everybody. Second to their purpose, Christie's dogs are award winners. Through her work, she's made friends around the world. A lot of my friends in Europe um, live in the Ukraine. The Ukrainian, there's some Ukrainian breeders. Two of them actually fled to Romania and are living with um, my breeder. Because of the turmoil, Christy calls this the peace litter, which is what you feel holding the puppies. And the people they'll serve will experience that too, starting late next month. In Omaha, Mary Nelson, 3 News Now. Well, before the go, the puppies will be temperament tested to see which ones will be the best fit for the organizations and families already vetted.